Hi there, my name is Damiel Larewaju, African leading growth expert. On today's episode of The Growth Show, I'll be sharing with you structuring your business for growth. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So we want to talk about structuring your business for growth and I know that this is very important for every business owner listening to me or maybe you're a manager. It can be quite uh, frustrating to see that your business is not growing the way you want it to grow. I've been there severally and in fact somewhat should I say I'm still there. Okay but one of the things that I can say is that my own situation has improved because I run other businesses from the consulting business and I've learned in, in dealing with several clients across several sector working on growth consulting projects I realized that there are a lot of things that needs to be put in place for companies to be able to achieve growth and in this instance what I'm even particular about is high growth okay so walk with me through all the steps and process try it in your business if it's not working then something else is wrong, right? But let's try this first. Number one, you need to clearly define your vision, okay? As simple as, as almost un unquantifiable that is in terms of, it, it looks abstract when people say, you know, define your vision, okay? But you must be able to define what the future looks like for you, what success looks like for you as a business. And as an entrepreneur, you must be able to see it in your mind eye what you want to achieve. And most of the time, you know, the problem is that we gloss over through this whole concept of visioning, you know. And because a typical entrepreneur is always balked with about making money, you know, you're talking about cash flow, who is now talking about vision, you know what I mean? At times it can be very, very, you know, uh, not comfortable, you know. Uh, to really sit down and, and take an extended period of time to think about the future uh, that you want to achieve. Either you are a startup or a growing business, you must be able to sit and be able to crystallize in your mind the preferable and the desirable idea of the future. Because once you don't do that, there's no vision to even share with your teammates. Okay? And that leads me now to strategy. Okay? It's at the strategic level or at the strategy level that you now begin to turn that vision into, you know, you, you know, you, you break it apart. Okay. In that instance, in terms of strategy, um, judging by, you know, there's, there's a book that you need to check. It's called Playing to Win. A strategy was defined as a set of uh, choices that you need to make. In other words, once you choose a strategy, you cannot at the same time pursue another strategy. It's going to be counterproductive. And that's what happened to most entrepreneurs and business managers. It's about hustling. It's about if this one does not work, this one will work. No. You have to be able to come to a point in your business. Of course, you can grow broadly first. Try this, try that. But you must know that there has to be a time in, your, in the life of your business where you will need to sit and define exactly the direction you want to pursue. And in this instance, the first thing is that you define your winning aspiration, okay? What does the future look like, which I've, I've, I've spoken about in the first point. But more importantly, the next thing you need to choose is you have to choose how to win. Now, how to win is a function of choosing the exact place you want to play in the business. Of course, there's the how to win, then the third component is where to play. So where to play and how to win, they are together, okay? In terms of defining, are you playing at the lower end of the market? Are you playing at the mid end? Are you playing maybe in the luxury market? Depending on the classification of your business, you want to do B2B, do you want to do B2C? Because once you don't define that, then success becomes 
you know, an Herculean task, so, so to speak. But once you define that, because as important as vision is, strategy is as equally as important. And in that instance, strategy gives you clarity. So you know with precision. And see, the whole idea about strategy is that you are choosing that strategic choices on how you want to win. You must play to win in life. You cannot just be playing for the sake of playing in, in the marketplace. So you need to be able to define exactly where to play and how to play. In that instance, the fourth process will now be you have to begin to define the processes that will make you or the capabilities that you have to build as a business to make you achieve the winning aspiration, how to play and where to play factor, okay? And the fourth one will now be the management system that you need to put in place. I'm going to do a deep dive on this particular uh, um, concept I've just shared with you in subsequent episodes. But I just want to do like an overview of some of those strategies or principles that you need to quickly put in place for you to achieve hyper growth in your business. Okay. Now, the fourth point I would like to raise is that you need to pay attention to your system. Okay. See, every problem in business is either a people problem or a systems problem so one of the things you need to look at is that there are various systems that that are, that are powering a business okay the hr system inside the hr system you have the appraisal system the recruitment system uh the performance management system and you know the, the payroll system so you look at marketing you have the branding the digital strategy you have also IT is a system, is a component of the business. As an entrepreneur and as a business manager, the thing you need to do from time to time, right? You need to be able to isolate one system per time and you need to be able to evaluate what is going on currently. But you need to start with the most problematic system, okay? And most of the time it's always around sales or cash flow management. Because once you start, start that, you have a mental space to be able to think about other part of your system. And as you begin to work on it, if there are gaps, then you need, you need to begin to tweak it, okay? And once you've done that, you might need to look at the people side of things. Because no matter how effective a system is, once you fill the right position with the wrong set of people, you are going to be having epileptic results, you know, to put it simply. So what you need to do is that you need to find out, are you putting the right set of people in place? So between the people and the system, you should be able, once you begin to tweak things around, you will get to a place where you know where the problem is and you'll be able to fix it. That is how to actually uh, structure your business for growth, okay? And as you see those gaps from time to time, and it needs to be a recurrent you know, exercise from time to time, because for you to be able to also optimize growth, because it's not about growing for now, you have to be able to also grow into the future this video is a short video so uh, in subsequent ep episode we'll be looking at other areas where you can trigger growth within your business and with your personal life i know this is a short video but i want to believe it has been helpful right if you want more info you can reach out to me at in, uh, look at the email throwing on your screen for personal growth coaching and also uh for your business growth uh consulting so the address, the phone number, you can always call and let us talk about how we can take your business to another level. I understand the science of growth and I would like to help you to grow in your life and in your business. Take care, guys. See you on another episode of The Growth Show. Thanks.